right, but first, before we get to any of that, uh, there's a new movie out this week. You're going to like this movie. Do you think so? I think it's something the whole family's going to love, right? Oh, yeah, this is a pretty good one. As a matter of fact, I've talked to a bunch of people who have seen it. They say they had a great time at this movie. It's called The Legend of Tarzan. Oh, our Tarzan. You may not like who you were. You may have enemies there. But you need to go home. Your husband's wildness disturbs me. I need you to scream for me. Like it times a lot. He's Tarzan. You're Jane. He'll come for you. Oh, yeah, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to come from school, and I used to love watching Tarzan. Johnny Weissmiller, he was an Olympic swimmer, and he became a Tarzan. There were a whole bunch of guys that played Tarzan, but it always takes someone with a great physique and a lot of ability to swing their way through the trees. And this time, it's Alexander Skarsgård. He's the man who takes on the legend of Tarzan, and look at that mm. guy. He's a swinger. What do you that's think of that, huh? That's impressive there. Yeah. The I stunts. Jeez. Oh, wow, you just look at that. And it's funny to know that they shot this indoors, mostly indoors at a studio in London with all that wow. in the background. Isn't that incredible? Look at how, uh, he is just one of the most, I mean, he's he's not, I think, I like when you have a role like this, these actors aren't that well known. He's well known, but he's not some huge, huge celebrity. And they fit into these roles really well, I think. He, he plays opposite Margot Robbie and they talked a little bit about, uh, you know, building that chemistry and how important it was. Because we only have four or five scenes before we're separated and before Christoph Waltz's character shows up and yeah. snatches Jane and, and, and the adventure kicks off. It was so important to find, to feel that connection, that love between the two, because if the audience isn't invested, then the movie won't work. They're not gonna root for us to get back together. Exactly. Um, so I was nervous before meeting Margo. I was, I'd seen Wolf of Wall Street and thought she was a terrific, but I, we'd never met before. Mm. Uh, but about six months before shooting the movie, we got together in LA to just get to know each other. And it was just, yeah, honestly, it just, I remember opening, Margaret came, came over to my place for dinner and I just opened the door and I was like, we, we just, I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember her in Wolf of Wall Street too. I think everyone remembers her in Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. I think I'd be a little nervous too. He realized at that moment, there's definitely going to be physical chemistry there between oh, yeah. the two of them. She's gorgeous, how yeah. can you not? Yeah, she's lovely. So she's Jane and uh, here, Alexander Skarsgård was injured during the filming of this film. What happened? It happened during the sex scene. Everyone's saying this. You didn't get injured. It was just, I mean, it was, My it was David said Yates's I can't talk idea. Because we're still, it's still an ongoing investigation <laughs> into what happened, what really happened. David um, Yates was just giving certain pieces of encouragement or direction during the, the sex scene to kind of make sure that those, a primal element was evident. Yeah. I so, don't punch my co-stars. I, I don't do that. Hmm. What does he mean? So, Primal element was wait, evident. What does that mean? Uh, this just leaves a lot to the imagination, so they don't fully answer that question. Yeah, I know. We're Darn gonna, it. We'll deal with that in a few minutes. Okay. We'll get a little closer to the problem. How's okay. That sound? All right, that sounds good. Samuel L. Jackson is in this movie, and he said he's in this movie for a very important reason. There's a little, little bit of fact and truth in this story, and this is what he said. The original script I read was written by Craig Brewer, who a friend and guy who directed me in Black Snake Moan and did, you know, Hustle and Flow. And it was a very interesting and, you know, kind of cool script. And then I called him and talked to him about it. And he said, well, yeah, I was writing this guy, George Washington oh, Williams, for you, yeah, who's a real good. guy. And then I got this information um, from everybody about who he was and what was happening. And then I read King Leopold's Ghost, uh, which is a total treatise on the Congo and what Leopold was doing over there and that atrocity and that whole uh, wiping out of all those, you know, African people to get rubber out of the country and ivory and diamonds and whatever, uh, and realized it was an important aspect of this fantasy to get this reality of what's, what was going on in that particular part of the world at the time, and it was a unique opportunity to do it you know, as an entertainment entity, but also as a learning tool at the same time. So the point he makes is that they use this story to help expose like a holocaust of sorts. And, to, you know, so that was the real benefit of, of the original when they started putting this, this script together. Very so now we have to go back to this other problem, this, this injury during the love scene or something like that. So yes. I know that 
you are an Alexander Skarsgård fan, and I think he might be a fan of yours too if you take <laughs> a close look there at his fiberglass oh. uh, abs. Look at that. Oh, well, I'll take that. He I'll did, take that. He folks. did do some totally nude uh, filming in this also, so I know that that would. <laughs> I don't know what's written I below the belt. But. Did John do this? Yeah. Oh, our amazing director. Of course he would. It, well, thank it, you for that, John. I appreciate it. It appears that they've hidden the injury. Hmm. I okay. think. <laughs> this, this, my little, my cheeks a little red now. I thought this might be a picture of our next guest. Okay.